How are you doing, family? We are back with another reaction video. And today it is a walking meme. The Detroit Urban Survival Training. The news that, you know, everybody's been seeing on TikTok and Facebook that are saying that his survival training videos look like complete retardation, that it's fake, or that it's not even fake, that he's just, his heart's in a good place, but the way he's doing it would get you killed or he's just goofy looking in general. So we're gonna see if this guy's real or if he's capped. Link in the description for the channel that I found this video on, and yeah, hopefully I don't get copyrighted. So yeah, let's do this shit. <laughs> Detroit Urban Survival Training. I want to share with you what to do if you're surrounded by a group of men and they attack you. So if they come at you, what you don't want to do is try to stay in the middle, like in a martial arts karate movie. See, this is how they would attack you, or more violently. So if they try to grab, in real life, try to attack you, in actuality, you to attack up, you more violently. What's gonna happen? As you try to back up. Get and you're still gonna They'd be stomping on you though. That's the thing. They'd be stomping you. Nah, that ain't gonna work. Nah, these people will still be busting you up. It's confusing as fuck, all but. Nah. You're gonna circle around the crowd. You're able to attack each attacker. It looks like you're playing Ring Around the Rosy, pocket full of you know. That's what it looks like. <laughs> and this is just nah. Somebody, somebody fart. Did somebody just? Some way. Did someone just fart? Somebody just farted. Look, hold on, hold on. Detroit Urban Survival Training. <laughs> so, Somebody just some farted. You can increase your survivability. If someone grabs you from the side, nah. bear hugging you. You got some big arms. I'll give you that. So you got some big arms. Leg, wrap it around the heel here. Bring your knee to the front and lock it out. Another way you can do that is on the other leg, the rear, this side. Just simply take your leg to the rear, hook, drop it down, and hook out. Do these guys like all wear the this same pants? Just about ability if someone's trying to hold you against your will on your side. Detroit. What was that? What was that? If someone's trying to hold you against your will on your side. What was that? Detroit Urban Survival Training. We're gonna share with you right now what to do if someone grabs your wrist from the side. This is something that commonly happens when people are trying to manhandle you. Uh, so what was right that? Here, you guys like the drip, by the way, the hat. First level the response hat. to yeah, the right. And the way we do that is by taking our elbow over the top. Here. The reason why we want to go here is because we don't want to go to zero. We don't want to go here and then start yeah. over and then find out he's a better fighter than us. From here, Grab we go arm. here. So it puts us in superior yeah. position to control or immobilize the threat. Uh, necessary. Uh, Legally, I just want to escape. They just grab my wrist. Here. If I want to control. So from here. They grab you. One, two, three. It's very painful. If it's more serious, here, here, here. And that's peeling the eyes and striking the throat in the hyoid. That's how you defend yourself. You here, went here. way fast. If it's more serious, here, grab. here. Slag. Here. Yep. And that's Pop peeling the, the eyes head. and striking the throat in the hyoid. That's how you defend yourself from a grab. Detroit Urban Survival Training. Today we're going to show you what to do like the most for a mobile I've ever seen. if someone's following you in a vehicle. If you notice a vehicle behind you, like this black truck, you're going to make three consecutive right-hand turns. Black truck, mean SUV, buddy. Then you're going to make three consecutive left-hand turns. So you're going to make three consecutive right-hand turns and three consecutive left. See, they're still, if they're still falling at this point, bro, just either bust shots at them. <laughs> Not just the car's still behind you. shooting at you first. And you look back there, they're still there. The you can go the first to the nearest police station and call 911 on the way. When you call 911, try to keep your operator in line if you can. Get your operator number. And then also make sure you get the address, the right police station. In this case, it's 12th Precinct here in Detroit. And you also make sure when the vehicle comes by and they drive by you, you try to get the license plate number. Don't move. <laughs> I wonder if this guy really feels official for wearing his badge and his gloves. And his little uniform and his little head gadget thing that he wears. Oh my god. Like, is this really like a real place or a thing that they have going on? Like, that kind of cool. The way he did that. That kind of cool, sure. right? I guess. Didn't that try look to cool? get the lights played Didn't look cool? But trying that with a real gun, you probably get your shit busted. Detroit Urban Survival Training. I'm gonna share with you right now some options you have that can increase your survivability. I don't know. That looked kind of cool. <laughs> it looked cool, but I don't know. Close quarters, and this is what happens when someone wants to do some 
incredible harm to you, if they want to take you somewhere, take you hostage, or if they want to torture you. So this Talk is a situation you would find yourself in, and instead of allowing them to do that to you, uh, or just allowing them to kill you, here are some options that may increase your survivability. What you can do, number one, is you have to move your head offline from the uh, line of the trajectory of the bullet at the same time that you pull the wrist in. So step one, head goes back as hand is pinned in. This does not take strength because you're just pulling your hand in, which causes a lock on the wrist. But technically it does take strength because you gotta do all this pulling. You gotta pull his hand back and have to aim it certain way. So it does take strength, so that's a lie. This, which also articulates the barrel away from you. Two, your fingers go here, thrusting into the eyes, and you're thrusting so bad for that guy. Touching the eyes, you're actually thrusting in. Is he touched by his hands? He, here, hopefully, he washes you don't want his to glove hands. Ground, you would just redirect the barrel here, and this would give you control and the ability to use. I would have laughed if he accidentally shot his friend, or not his friend, but his other instructor in the face with the pellet. Oh, well, by accident. Don't as long as they don't, hopefully they don't exactly. have it cocked. <laughs> the choice is yours. Detroit the choice is yours. Training, giving you intelligent options to increase your survivability. I feel like Spider Man right now. We get learning. Learn how to get training and we'll fight people, training. bad guys outside. We don't encourage anyone to fight or to resist, but if you do decide to resist... What did I just fight? watch with these two goofy ass? Detroit Urban A drop and roll. We don't encourage anyone that's to how you fight, fight off fire. Or to you resist, fucking drop and you roll and to resist, get out. What we want to do is make sure you have intelligent options. This is biomechanics. Understanding how the body works. So this position is when a miner is pushed, so the miner is not set. injuring another miner, or in this case, fighting a larger adult. What he's gonna do is a body drop. Body so drop. He's being pushed back by a much larger person. He drops down by stepping off line underneath. But then the guy can just fall he on top of you. Over the top, he runs away at freedom. And he didn't actually impact the person. He didn't punch them, which means you can't be charged with a crime. Here. So this is a way to defend yourself safely and create the yeah. most nonviolent outcome. I just realized, let's, let's hold on. Let's take a minute to address. Where's my mouse? Let's take a minute to address this thing here. See my pointer at. What is that? Is that like the new Apple Watch or some sort of Samsung phone watch kind of shit? Because this is what a Samsung watch looks like, at least my size of watch. That ain't that ain't that big compared to what he has on his wrist. That man has a full on fucking tablet or TV on his motherfucking arm. Like, what is that, homie? Where do you get that from? I want to see what the comments say. <laughs> Kind of do, but I'd say them. But also, I want to see them roasting. Sued or <laughs> having an injury resulting. Look at this headset. So, so, so. Put your picture here. This is the guy. This is the guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Put your, put your. Oh, yeah, okay. Sorry. Don't move. Don't move. This thing is now outside the eyes. <laughs> now he grabbed that bitch. Yeah. So no, it works. What happened? But what happened if I don't say don't move? Okay, don't do it. I'm saying. Are right, you ready? Yeah. The thing is, he didn't give the guy a chance. I, I guess that's the point of it, right? Yeah, I guess you don't give the person a chance. So, I don't know. Don't move. Fingers are now outside the eyes. <laughs> now, he grabbed that bitch. Yeah. So, no, what happened if I don't say don't move? Okay, don't do it. I'm saying. All right, ready? You said ready, though. He said ready? That technically meant you're ready. Uh, uh, Y'all want to try it? They're only liking it for the simple fact that he's a meme right now. He's an internet meme, so it's like he's the guy. He's the guy. It'll come out later to be very important legally. The cameras will see that your hands are open. You also need to be backing away from the person. Oh, I don't want to show that. I'm not saying. Move them out from that person at all times, no matter what. As they come forward, instead of even trying to fight them, you're going to take from them the ability to stand. By That's funny. Through the knee, you take from them the ability to stand up, and you're stomping through the knee, not to the knee. So this is how you're able to take control of your safety. Nah, bro, you should stomp through the knee. What the fuck was that? Take control of your safe. Detroit Urban Survival Training. We're share with you some. The way he just, the way he just busts through, and he goes, Detroit Survival. How many he did? Detroit Herbal Survival Training. I can't even say this. How does he say this so properly? He just busts through and says, Detroit Urban Survival Training. Holy shit! Watch. Oh. Look at G Detroit just breaks training. through the Should fight and just goes into the you know instructor mode to break apart violent aggressors who do not want to back away. In this case, neither one of them is a victim. <laughs> what? When it come in, our hands go here, right to the face, right to the nose, <laughs> right, 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 right on the face. 
And this yeah, is you put your hands on two guys scrapping his face. They're gonna go from instantly fighting each other to being like, who the fuck is this guy coming up putting their hand on my face? And they're gonna swadonk on you. They're gonna hit you till next week. They're gonna go from being enemies to being frenemies and beat your ass and then go back to fighting each other. For you and your family, no matter where you live. Yeah. Detroit Urban Survival Training. We're gonna share with you. I hope that's. I hope that's a pellet gun. Reaction time and identification. Of I think I look so serious. So right now, he's going to shoot. If he sees a weapon, if I bring this weapon out to bear, he is going to shoot. Give an example of what that sounds like. Fire. Okay, you'll hear that noise. All right. So airsoft guns or uh, CO2. Okay, did you hear this go first? Yes. Okay, try it again. Don't say anything. Sounds like a tie. Don't move. Don't move. I was about to die. I ain't touching that gun after that. Don't move. Don't move. That's with both hands up and then. <laughs> Damn, shot. Don't move. Shot him That's with Damn, both shot him anyways. <laughs> Because by the time his brain saw that he didn't have a weapon, it was too late, I still got shot. And that's a lesson for everyone. Don't shoot me. Oh, hell. <laughs> yeah, who's going to do that? Huh? What, well, why would you be on the side of Oh, you'd be shot in the front. Hey, still, still coming out. Nothing you can do. No. What the fuck? Hold on. Okay, 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 okay. He's seen people in real life and he's doing it to people in real life. He's shown. But at the same time, it just looks goofy as fuck all when he does it. Or is doing the training of it. Okay, in full motion. If he does it in full motion, then it, I guess, yeah, it looks like it, it does the job. But at the same time, when he's doing it in a training stance, it looks goofy, I guess. I think. I don't know. I'm trying to, you know, depict this. What, but why would you be on the side of Oh, you'd be shot in the front. Bang. Still, still coming out. Nothing you can do. No. Detroit Urban Survival Training. I'm going to share with you what you can do. I don't know. Someone puts a gun to the back of your skull and holds you hostage, and they're going to shoot if you move. In this situation, if they're just going to rob you, you should always do what they say and just give them whatever they want. If you believe they're going to I can't get my phone, though. How am I going to call you at home? To a secondary location. If you believe your life's in danger and you can't trust them with the gun to the back of your skull, here is an intelligent option that can help you. He is going to shoot if I move. What the fuck was that? What the fuck? He already pulled the trigger though. I can help you. He is going to shoot if I move. That's the thing. You heard the trigger go off and it was still at the back of his head. Listen. Intelligent option that can help you. Literally. He is going to shoot if I move. Yeah, see? The trigger pulled. He pulled the trigger right before. So if anything, if you don't get hit by the bullet, you're either getting scared by it or you're going to at least have fucking that, that ringing, really loud ringing sensation in your ear because he's still a shot. He's still a shot. It's an intelligent option that can Unless it's the, 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 um, the jumbling of when he did that move, it jumbled the guy's hand and caused it to jiggle. Help you. He is going to shoot if I move. I don't know. That's hard to, that's hard to say. He just rubbed his, he just rubbed his whole face like, ah. Feel like the bullet went past? Okay. No, I, I have a feeling he probably would have shot him in the back of the head. I never showed him that technique before. I just met him nah. in Detroit, and uh, we're doing street demonstrations, so we can share with you uh, the reaction. Just to think, he would have got shot in the head without any training. So he was actually going to shoot, and uh, this individual tried to shoot, and he just didn't. Look at my tattoo on my hand. If you guys are wondering, why, I'm making sure it's okay. Here, when I move, what's in front? Almost done with the healing process. I move out of the way of the blade of the gun. When he sees me move, my head moves and he pulls the trigger. To keep him from backing the gun away and, and realigning the gun with me, I come forward, wrapping the arm. Going into the eyes here, he's hyper confined and hyper extended the arm here, and the weapon is extended and secured. That is how you can defend. I carry a goddamn T. Unless you're a motherfucking professional ass of the barrel of the gun. force. And know what you're doing. The gap. That's the only way you're gonna do that. That that Always fucking matrix the type shit. Of the aggressor, under all Other than that, nah. So you deprive them I'm a person like me. I'm gonna forget what the fucking the moves were. I'm gonna be like, and fuck up and nah. 
and that's what you can do. I'd rather just have my 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 CCW on me and just pull it if I have to. Option increase your survivability. Pepe, grab your hand with a wrist. A man's trying to kill you with a gun. Like there's no reason to let them see you. Their hand, and all you're gonna do is articulate it down, and that causes pain. And you can take control of them. You can move them down, or you can actually hold them against their will. These are your How? He's still holding onto your arm. All you do is move in a circle. Using the bottom of the blade here, bottom of your knife, in a circle, and it'll get free just like that. And it's also, you felt pain when you were holding? Yes. Okay. So you can also use this. If this person was here, we want to move the guy. We don't want to stab him. We I want to stab him. Back away from our family. Big we and scary. Back away from our house. Whatever this is, this aggressor, uh, we want to back them away. But we don't want to Checking stab himself him out on the camera. Time, because that would not be legal. We want to make sure that when we are defending ourselves and our families, we're doing it legally. So... We can take the blade right here, use the bottom of the knife here to the, back, to the middle of the skull, and just pull down. It's very Fuck. painful. It causes a person to buckle. And I wonder how he's feeling about that, being the guy, the dummy that has to take it. Like, does that hurt? Really? Hold on. I want to. I want to see something here. I have a knife. I have a knife right here. I, don't ask me why I have a bucket. My hair looks so fucking gross. Don't mind my hair cut, or not even my hair cut. Don't mind my hair. It's bushy. I gotta get a haircut. So he takes the knife. He just goes. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, if you put, if you apply like force to it, I guess. Yeah, like right here in the center, it hurts. Yeah, I guess so. But who's gonna fucking stand there long enough for you to fucking apply force to their head without, you know, trying to punch in the face? Like this guy was thinking about to punch him in the face. And to let go or to back away. So okay, my opinion on this guy. Do I think he's cap or is he? Some of this shit is like, okay, like what I said before during the video. Doing the instruction person, portion, portion of it, like where he's showing you how to do it, it looks goofy as shit. Because it's, you know, done slow. But when he does it, I guess, in full-on motion. And also, you'd have to probably practice that, like, on sometimes, like, on a daily, or you have to practice that. Because that's, like, a lot of things to remember. Like, when the guy has a gun to the back of your head to, you know... Wrap your arm like that, come around, do that with the hand, pop his face, and then, you know, like, it sounds easy saying it, but then when you go to put it in motion, that's the part that's like, you know, I don't know, this, that guy seemed that, uh, what is that guy, I keep forgetting, He's, his name is not really too important to me, but at the same time, it's just, I don't know, that just seems, seems a little lasagna you know a little suspicious a little sus so i don't know i'm leaving it to you guys what do you guys think down in the comment section below is it cap or is you know do you think it's tried and true and this is real so yeah i'm gonna leave a link in the description to where i found this video and hopefully i don't get copywritten on this video and yeah i'm gonna link the description also other reaction videos that i've done because i've done them in a while so I have one that's popping off right now. It's a pony play one. Can you believe it? It's like 900 something views. Like that's insane. Like, I'm a small channel, so that's pretty good. But, um, yeah. Go check out the pony play video. It's like 956 views. 956 views on it now. So, if you guys want to check that out, leave that in the link too. <laughs> so, other than that, Kush family, stay tuned until next time. Thank you for the support. Please subscribe. Smash the like button. Comment down below. Hit the bell notification for when I post more so you guys can see it. And, yeah. Hopefully I'll be posting soon again. A lot of things behind the scenes happening. So yeah, I'm trying to make money videos. So peace until next time. Thank you.